Hi my sweet people, today's video is on this chocolate chip loaf cake and if you want to know how I made this then just keep on watching. The items needed for the cake will be flour, milk, sugar, salt, butter, baking powder, chocolate chips, vanilla extract, and eggs. You can grab your bowl and add in your sugar and your butter. Just continue mixing until they are creamy. Something that I did different, so actually based on the recipe ingredients itself, it's uh, only using butter. So I actually didn't want to use the whole thing of butter, so I substituted half using butter and half I added vegetable oil. So if you want, you can do so like me. The cake did turn out to be just nice, so um, not dry. So actually because I think I use a bit of the vegetable oil, if you want you can just use it with the whole butter or with vegetable oil is up to you so instead of substituting maybe you can try half half or you can just do so the whole thing so it depends it's up to you next you can add in your eggs so i'm just adding them one by one and just mix as you go So don't forget to actually uh, remove 2 tablespoons to actually mix it with the chocolate chip later on. I actually forgot to do that so don't forget like me. Yeah, so just uh, you can add in your flour and sift them together with your salt and your baking soda. have been combined you can add in your whole milk and I'm actually adding them in batches so that uh, it doesn't splatter all over the place vanilla extract and continue mixing
mentioned earlier, you did need to put in your flour mixed with the chocolate chips. So I actually forgotten this part. So uh, doing so will not allow your chocolate chips to sink to the bottom. You want it to be like, um, you know, throughout your loaf. So instead of it being sink down, just make sure you add in your flour with the chocolate chips. So this is what I saw, which actually seemed to work. So you can try that. And uh, if you've forgotten like me, it's fine too. Mine didn't turn out so bad. But of course, depends uh, on the chocolate chips that you want to use. I'm actually using a darker form of uh, chocolate chips, which actually turned out nice as well but a little bit bitter because uh, you know ex expected is actually dark chocolate so once you've done everything now you can prepare your pan and add in your batter and then I'm just using a normal rectangular um, pan Actually, if you want, you can try adding in different kinds of uh, chocolate chips. I actually just use one kind and then uh, once you've added your batter on top, you can add in more chocolate chips if you want. So it actually looks pretty when you bake it so it's like the chocolate melted on top. Okay, now that's done, you can prepare to bake and bake at 350 for 45 to 55 minutes. But of course, you can monitor on your end. Uh, some said actually 40 to 45 but uh, you can just check throughout the end just try to check if it's done if it's done you can stop so here's the finished cake and it really turned out nice I was kind of skeptical at first because I'm not really a fan of chocolate chip in cakes but um, it was nice and it's a simple cake they can enjoy anytime so um, that's the end of my video guys hope you like it and if you try definitely let me know thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video bye guys She likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine Baby girl be mine Yeah, hey, look, pick up your phone